people are, often ask me like, so what have you learned as a director? And I'm like, it's not just, I've learned a lot as an actor now, even though I would, I didn't act in this film. It's, I've learned a lot of the filmmaking process that will help me um, just as a performer alone, you know? Hi, Kier, nice to see you again. I, I'm doing fine in you. Good, thanks. Yeah, thank you so much. I spoke to you for High Desert. Oh, which nice. I, which I made a mistake and I said, High Desert. <laughs> there was a moment there and uh, you made fun of me. <laughs> no! Oh my but God. Very, you're very, like, the way that you did was so... You were a gentleman because you said oh. something and then afterward I was like, that's why the show is very sweet. <laughs> that, yeah, nice. All right. Love that. Love that. But uh, I love the movie. I love Marmalade. And I think you love sweet stuff because you, 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 <laughs> out of your movies, Marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Maybe that's why that's why it was high dessert because you were thinking about marmalade. Yeah. Maybe you never know. So congratulations <laughs> on your director debut. I I enjoy watching the movie a lot. So I want to know the inspiration for it. What 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 was the inspiration for the script? You know, it it it, it, all, it all came from you know as an actor for 20 plus years now people used to ask me all the time if you could play any character what would you play you know i've played this wide variety of, and, and i could never answer that question so i decided to sort of you know take that as an experiment and start creating a, a script based on characters that i just thought were would would be like really enticing for other actors to play so you know, I, I, I've played a lot of characters that have a duality to them, so I wanted to add that as a piece of the puzzle. Um, but it was it was really trying to hone in on sort of what my artistic, uh, you know, aesthetic was, and and that comes from the movies that I grew up watching and loving. So this is kind of my homage to, to you know a lot of the movies of the late '80s and '90s and and heist films and and um you know i love the sort of bonnie and clyde genre of sort of you know lovers on the run and um bad people you know good people doing bad things sometimes you know but we're rooting for them um so it was kind of like you know mixing all that stuff together and seeing if we got if i could put a new twist on it yeah i really love it when like writing the actors came after or before like the, the script because sometimes you sometimes you can write the script thinking about an actor but what what happened before, what happened first was the script or the actors it, it was the script first you know which was I, I, you know i agree with you it's like so many times it's probably easier to write with an actor in mind but i just didn't do that it, I, I felt like especially because this film is so kind of uh whimsical and kind of in this sort of dreamlike world um that I wanted to create everything from uh, imagination, you know? But that was also the challenge, right? It was like, we created these uh, sort of very uh, nuanced characters and it was like, okay, now we have to find the right performers to to have enough layers to pull it off, you know? Um, so that's when we went out to, you know, we got so lucky finding Joe and Camilla and Aldous and, you know, the rest of the cast. Yeah, I want to talk about the cinematography, which is really, really beautiful. How was like these conversations with Polly? to 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 get to that you know it's very it's beautiful especially when they are in the car during the day so so yeah. bright so beautiful no i uh, that's that's so nice to hear i and I, I i completely agree i mean i got so lucky with polly and we we i put together a lookbook for the film very early on that went with the script so i knew kind of tonally or you know the color palettes we wanted to work within but um of course polly with her expertise with cinematography it's like she brought uh, so many great ideas that were, you know, th that we were able to to find this sort of vintagey, uh, you know, nostalgic kind of feel to it was always the goal. Um, and then, you know, along the way, because it is sort of a retelling of a story, it's like, oh, how much can we make this, like you said, sort of just generally beautiful, but also um, sort of a little offbeat and a little bit kind of odd in a, in a way. So that was kind of like putting different pops of color here and there or finding just some really naturalistic light at times. Yes, and what was your biggest challenge? 
You know, it's interesting as, as a first time director, right? I've been on so many sets as an actor, but um, so I felt very comfortable on set when we were shooting, but it was all the pre-production that I've never seen before and the post-production, right? So on both ends of that, you know, I, I, I knew what different departments did and things, but to actually do the preparation before the film was really fascinating to see it from, you know, from the, the very uh, beginning stages all the way up till shooting and then you have this footage and then you go into the edit. It was really fascinating to see kind of, oh, this is what people have done with my performances in the past. You know, you can chop it up, you can make it sort of however you want it. So um, it was it was, it was, was incredibly enlightening and, um, you know, I, I, I learned a ton. Yeah, and I have a bigger respect for them because you never know yeah, what, Exactly, right? exactly. That's exactly right. Exactly right. Yeah. I mean, it's so interesting because people are, often ask me like, so what have you learned as a director? And I'm like, it's not just, I've learned a lot as an actor now, even though I would, I didn't act in this film. It's, I've learned a lot of the filmmaking process that will help me um, just as a performer alone, you know? Yeah. I, I love that. And I also love like uh, Al Aldis, uh, he plays the, the, the prisoner. He is amazing <laughs> what he's doing, like yes. what you guys did that. What was about him that, that that made you pick him? God, I've always been a fan of his work and he just, he has such a presence on screen, I think. I mean, not only is he just like incredibly hunky and just like, you know, it's just such a, a magnetic sort of force, but he has layers to his acting that honestly, I, I didn't even know until I was working with him that he was like capable of sort of like really fine tuning. I mean, he takes direction incredibly well and, and that's what we needed. We needed, you know, we had a little bit of fun, like his character is a little bit of, you know, kind of yeah. fun twist. And, and you know, there's a bit of winking at the audience here and there. So, you know, Aldous and I got to really decide when to push it a little bit and when to pull it back and when to kind of like show sort of, you know, some cracks in the armor. And, you know, so it, it was super fun. He was so game to do it and, and just had the skills to pull it off. Yeah, and before we go, are uh, you already working your next, next movie? Your next script? I am. I okay. am. Yeah, yeah I'm I, I've, I've written a first draft of something, so I'm now in the process of rewriting, but that's um, very exciting. So hopefully I'll be sitting in the director chair again. Amazing. Very exciting. <laughs> uh, Kier, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to see you again and bring bring another fun or another drama, whatever you want to you wanna bring to us. I'll be here rooting for you. Yeah. <laughs> thank Thanks. you. It's good to see you again. Bye-bye. Bye. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, to like, and subscribe to our channel right here.